Hi right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna look at the Roto Grip Hustle RIP. I usually don't do a lot of the ball reviews for the lower end stuff that's in the line, like the burners, the hustles. I really didn't have any, couple, last couple years haven't had any use for them, but this year with the PBA 50 Tour, really wanted to try this Hustle RIP. I had a Hustle Link years ago, and I kind of liked that motion because it was like a weaker IQ Tour type of motion. So I figured this one, if it replaces that ball, that's what it's gonna look like. So like I said, I drilled it this summer for the PBA 50 Tour, did use it in Hammond a little bit to help me out uh, to get into the caches round. All right, and today we're gonna compare this ball to actually two of the hypes that I have. I have a Hype Solid, which could be a little bit, should be a little bit stronger and smoother than this ball, and also the Hype Pearl. Uh, those are just a little like a half a step up in strength compared to the Hustle RIP. So I wanted to showcase those for you today. All right, so how did I drill it? I drilled the Hustle RIP four and a half, by four and a half by two and a half VLS layout. Now, if you saw with my, if you saw my hype solid video, that ball, since I didn't know how strong the cover was on the hype line, I drilled a five by five by two and three quarters VLS layout. And my hype pearl is similar to the same layout. It was my son's. I plugged it and re-drilled it because I needed it for a league. So I'm not, I didn't really put a map it out to see how it was, but it's very close. All right, time for me to get on the lanes and uh, let's see what how this Hustle RP does. All right, since it's a lower end, well, I should say, you know, yeah, it is a lower end. It's a weaker ball, has a weaker core. Not sure how strong the cover is on it. Uh, we are gonna start to the right, far to the right, outside of first arrow. And that's where the, the lanes are gonna be the driest because this house shot is not, I just did the journey video. I have about a game on them or so, but mm, that's it. Let's see, let's see what this ball does. A little stickage. All right, that's how you start out. A little sticking. Oh, it should have 28010, but I 810. Right, let's try that again. I was standing around. Now, uh, this, this is not a ball I would be using on fresh house shots. It's something after the lanes transition or drier or later in, in blocks. And so, having a fresher house shot, it might be, should be a little bit weaker, a little cleaner. And then it should, should pick up in the mid lane, like kind of like that one did. That was a little bit more forward than I would have liked. So, I'm going to move a little left and throw another shot. I said, since I have like a game and a half or so on this, the lanes are a little drier to the right than I would want because I threw the journey and the TNT infused out there. All right, let's make, let me make a better shot. Hopefully I don't stick. There we go. More nine at the arrows. Got in a little bit more oil, it was cleaner. Picked up in the mid lane, but it wasn't really quick down lane. It was nice and smooth. So, all right, so I'm, let me move a little more left and throw a little more right, give it some room. See if I can make it a little bit quicker than that. This ball is not gonna, because this is a weaker ball, it's not gonna flare a lot. That's why I drilled it with a four and a half inch pin. Didn't want to go five like I did on the hype solid because that one goes, it's a little too long, maybe by a couple feet than what I really want from a solid and that part of the, the line. And we're not going to, like I said, I'm not going to use them on fresh and we use it when the lanes transition. So I don't want them to be too early. All right, that one wasn't very good. That was a little more around it. Uh oh, light went out. All right, sorry about that. Light went out. Let's try it again. All right, more left. Like the last one was nine, it looked pretty good. One before, actually two shots ago. Nine looked pretty good. Next one I came around with my wrist. No bueno, didn't look very good. Let's see if I can throw this one better. And late again. Not bad, not bad. Still a little around it. Trying to go slow and let the ball shape. So let me move more left and see if I can push the limits of this ball. I did, the, the ball does come with reactive gloss on it, but I did take the reactive gloss over, off of it. Since it's so weak and so clean through the front, I really wanted to get into the cover and I'll make sure that it does come off the dryer like it is right now, nice and smooth, and it has an actual movement rather than being really clean and really sharp. So I move more left and throw it more right. I'm throwing this big after that last video because I need the friction down lane, where if I threw it on a fresh house shot, it might be a little too clean in the front. See if I can throw this one better, a lot smoother. That one was a little choppy. Just like that, just like that. That, that So for me, right, if you're a low rev player like me and you wanna, get, Get into like the hype or the hustle line. I went with a little bit stronger drilling on it, a four and a half inch pin. And that is that letting it pick up in the mid lane and reading the dry the right way. All right, so now I'm gonna throw the hype solid and see how different that ball is. Not sure how much stronger this cover is on this ball compared to what's on the hustle rip, but this one is kind of smooth. Gives it more, you know, the hustle rip look like a kind of like a weaker IQ. This one, a little bit slower than that because it is slightly stronger. Just like that. It is it's a little bit earlier than the Hustle RIP. It's a little bit smoother off the dry, a little more forward where that one's a little more continuous, which you can tell like when I did the journey in, in the Infuse video. 
The journey was a lot more continuous. TNT and Fuse was a little more forward, so the hype salad is a little more forward. But I'm gonna move a little left, come around a little bit, see if I can make it shape. All right, one more time. That was a bad one. Yeah, that was horrible. That was horrible. Timing was bad. Everything. Blech. But you can see, I didn't throw it very good. Bad shot. Weaker bowling ball. And it was just, it was all confused. It really didn't want to do anything because I got it a little left, more in the oil. It really didn't read off the dry. Let's try that one more time. Make a better shot. Didn't really use this hype salad very much. I brought it with me when I toured, but it just never really got it out of the bag. I probably could have used it a couple of times, but I just didn't. I was lazy. All right, one more time. Let me throw a better shot. Let me roll it a little bit more. Like that. Just like that. So it is slightly stronger, maybe a half a step stronger than the Hustle RIP. It is a lot slower, a lot smoother. It's a little more forward than the RIP. All right, so let me throw the Hype Pearl for a couple shots and see how different that is from the RIP compared to those two other two. Now, when it comes to the Hypes to the RIP, uh, when it comes to the Hypes to the Hustles, this one, because of the Pearl cover, might be a little more of a similar shape to the RIP compared to where the, where the Hype style was a little bit slower and smoother, more forward. This one might be a little bit closer to that because of the Pearl cover. All right, I'm not gonna move as far, right? It's gonna stay right where I was. Not gonna be a lot of moving left throwing it right with these right now because the house shot still is a little bit fresher than I would want or how I would use the ball. Oh, that's way out there. <laughs> All right, threw that one way to the right. Still a similar motion. Now it wasn't as didn't seem to be as early as the hustle RIP. It was a little bit later because of the pearl cover. The hustle RIP got into a roll a lot quicker uh, than this hype pearl. Let me throw it one more time, make a better shot because. Man, I'm like splitting all the time. Journey video got me jealous. I was striking a lot in that one. As you can see, because the lanes are transitioning and stuff, they're a little under over it. There's not, I'm not really ready for this high pearl to be thrown yet. The lanes are more conditioned right now for the other two, which are solids and they're gonna be a lot smoother off the dryer. But this one's gonna, should be a lot quicker. All right, let me throw it one more time. Not so far right, down lane. There we go. Like that, just like that. With these three balls, because they're on the lower end of the spectrum in our line. These are balling balls I'm gonna play. If it's a little bit fresher or a little bit transition, I'm gonna play far to the right. Not really gonna get left, throw them right. But as out of these three balls, you got the, the hype solid is stronger than the other two, where the high, the RIP and the hype pearl, they're really close. The hype pearl might be, it's gonna be a little stronger, so it's gonna look a little earlier, but that same mo motion is almost the same. Let me go back to the, you know, the showcase of the ball, the hustle RIP, and let me just stand a little left, throw all right, just to show you guys what it would look like. This ball will be in the bag next year for the season. I really like it. It looks like an IQ Tour solid, just weaker. Has the same type of motion. What, what's not to like about that? Still not gonna be too far left, but, still, but I need to throw it out to the right to get into the drive. Kinda like that. See, I got into more oil, threw it more right, a little slower. It was like chug-a-lugging. It was really, really slow on the response time down lane because I got into more oil, it was a little bit cleaner, but it's still, from being a solid, it is a lot smoother off the dry down the lane. One more time, we'll wrap this sucker up. All right, there we go. See, lanes are transitioning. I went back to where I started, threw it a lot better. Ball was, even though it was clean, it, in the, it was starting to pick up before the mid lane and it came off the dry even harder. And that's why I went through the nose. Let me move a couple left, throw a better shot, knock all 10 down and we'll be all done. All right, closer to second arrow. That one. That one, man, that, that was too far right. All right, here we go. There we go, like that. <laughs> All right, transition. To the right too early, went through the nose. I move a little left, through a little right, and it slowed down too much. Not a ball I'd be throwing right now. A little bit under over. But good to come out here and showcase the balls that are on the bottom part of the echelon to see what they look like, at least on a house shot. All right, one more time. And just like that, see, it's getting too weak. It's too weak when I move left, too strong when I move right. But that's what I want to showcase, guys. When with the lower end bowling balls, there's a time for them, and a time to use them, time not to use them. So right now, as the lanes are transitioning, this is not the right ball for what I'm on. But I need to strike. That's the only way. That's the only way we're gonna finish this. If I strike, I might be here all day. All right, one more time. Come around it a little bit. Get it out to the right. Ah, right, close enough. All right, came around a lot. All right, guys. There's my showcase of the. The Roto Grip Hustle RIP. 
Hope you uh, like what you see. Make sure you do that thing. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell for notifications so you know when my content hits the internet. All right, peace out.